We just grabbed in some of the friends and then went to get boba and went grocery shopping because the Asian grocery store was right next door. So, you know, of course I had to go. And so it's already four. And I feel like my day's over. But one of my favorite things is trying out new ramen every time I go to the Asian grocery store. And also must is getting thick noodles. I feel so relaxed today. It's so nice not having anything to do, guys. It's it's so nice. I have missed this peace. <laughs> These trees are so pretty. We're on a date before rotation start, and we won't have time to see each other anymore. Hiding in the car because the rain, we're dumb, didn't bring any umbrellas. Can't really see it. Happy Sunday! Um, tomorrow we start our transition to rotations week and I'll go over the schedule with you guys later so you can see what the transition week looks like but today we just, as you saw, just had a day of fun went grocery shopping, doing a little painting, gonna do a little bit of fiber later, maybe read a book you know, just taking my last moments to relax before rotations start and I'm just really gonna spend this week just hanging out with people I care about, um, grabbing good food, obviously transitioning to rotations, learning all the stuff I need for rotations, or like, you know, like EMR kind of stuff. I don't really know what's happening, um, but just taking this week to appreciate life before chaos ensues. Now I'm gonna go cook some dinner and actually enjoy having time to cook dinner and you know, just enjoy life, watch some shows and be relaxed. Smells so good. Actually, on our lunch break, and I wanted to show you all the things that we had to do this morning. Of our schedule, and then these are all the modules that we will be having today. So I went through all these this morning. So four straight hours of Zoom, and then three more hours of Zoom later. It's all information on like how, what we should expect next week, going into our first week of rotations, what we should expect for this week, um, going over some resources like security and stuff, and then how to, later we're going to be doing how to uh, use Epic, um, just a lot of housekeeping stuff. One leftover topoki. I'm home now, it's 6.30, I just grabbed some boba with my boba buddy for Pamza. Hello, if you're watching. Um, I want to run through kind of everyone and see um, for those. Today has been such a ha hectic day. It's 11.45 and I finished my second module. In between modules, I tried to go to the VA to get my VA bag and stuff done because we have to get three different badges and like get it all set up and whatever, whatever, whatever. And it took over an hour, which I did not expect. And so I was rushing home. I was like two minutes late or a couple minutes late. And it was just a very chaotic morning for no reason. And I didn't realize that there was pre-learning for all or most of these modules and that there was gonna be a post quiz for some of them so i just took my quiz um yeah so this morning i had an intro to radiology and right now i just had another module on using the translator services and we ran through some cases answered some questions i have another module in a couple hours i think it's just the intro to clinical rotations um that seems a lot more chill 
and then tonight I have an art museum session which is probably going to be about BTS which is what I actually did my research on so that's pretty exciting to actually experience uh, what I am researching my first module was at 8am and so I am pretty tired it's just so hot I'm going to see if I can do a cheese pull with it though Oh, I cannot. That is way too hot. I'm gonna let it cool down for two seconds. It's like five and I'm off to the museum now. It's like two in the afternoon. I just got home from my standardized patient session. It was on difficult conversations. So stuff like just like uncomfortable situations you would face in the hospital, for example, sexism, a little bit of racism, um, difficult attendings, attendings telling you you shouldn't do X, Y, and Z, and just like awkward slash difficult conversations or um, situations that you would be in in the hospital. And I thought they were really realistic, and it's because previous students have um, said, have inputted these stories or submitted these stories and I thought it was really useful. Mine was sort of on just like facing an uncomfortable like racial situation which I thought, which I've encountered before in real life so to me it wasn't that hard. I knew exactly what I would do uh, for better or for worse. I've encountered these things in the hospital, especially after m moving to Miami. I feel like I've encountered so many uncomfortable situations with my very, very brief time in the hospital. Like a lot of sexism, racism. I know it's really bad of me to just shrug these things off, but that is just my personality and what I do for better or for worse. So I'm not very aggressive or confrontational and I mean, I guess it's good that I don't, I don't really let stuff like that get to me, so. Um, but anyways, I have another session later in two hours that I saw to do to prep for. Um, so before some of the sessions, we have like classwork and assignments to submit, and I think there is an assignment to submit for the next one, so I need to do that. And other stuff on my to-do list is to finish three fivers, but I have officially closed my fivers for the season because, you know, can't do this on rotation, so close my fivers. I have three left three more today. I'm gonna do some stuff for research and then I'm gonna go see a friend later tonight. I said it was and they reminded me that the first time well. Well, um, because you, you don't want it to have to get to that point, right? That last stop gap with the person. It's nine, just got home. It was a really fun night, just catching up with my friend and I'm just gonna do a couple of fibers tonight and I don't think I have anything else to do. Except for my research in Anki cars that I am ignoring, so I think yeah, I still have stuff to do, but nothing like do do, so it's like less pressure. Good morning, guys. It's another rainy day. Happy Thursday. I am getting ready for it's almost noon, and I have a telehealth um, standardized patient in three minutes. Um, I guess we will take the history. And just have a fake telehealth session not really quite sure so and then this morning i woke up and i had a meeting with the patient that i'm navigating and that's been my day so far so my telehealth session just ended and that was harder than i thought we had eight minutes i got through half of my history taking but you know practice yeah that was harder than i thought <laughs> And I just got ready because I'm headed to a um, ND like student help panel, just Q and A. Don't know why it's in person, but it is in person. So, and it's required attendance in person. So that's where I'm headed. Okay, to continue. I'm hungry. Pre dinner. Stop. On campus, like 40 minutes before I had to be here because they have free lunch because it's the last year transition week, so free lunch. Um, but anyway, this morning I woke up at 8, like the good student I am, and I finished some work, some school work. I finished my patient note because we had to write a patient note um, to practice writing a patient note in the actual epic just to get used to epic and stuff 
Um, I slept until 2 a.m. working on my patient note yesterday because I didn't realize there's an entire like patient encounter, like a fake one, because they had a video of one and we just wrote a note according to that. And apparently we're supposed to go over it during our boot camp today. And so for today, our last thing for transition week is the mini boot camp, which is teaching you stuff how to like suture, intubate. Uh, I think we're also going to go over the patient note, um, just stuff that we will need for EROR, I am assuming. And I'm really nervous just because I'm like, it's almost here, like it's almost time for me to like actually kind of start becoming a real doctor and to go to the hospital every day um, and see real patients, help out real like surgeries where they're helping real people. It's just, it's mind blowing that I've worked so hard and so long to get to this point. And I'm so nervous because I'm so used to being a student and I'm not a person who likes change and not knowing things. And the next year is just all gonna be about not knowing, failing, trying again. And, and steep learning curves scare me and I know the learning curve is going to be very 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 steep and so I'm very nervous and I'm trying to think about it and just think positively you know like excitement because this is a very exciting time in my life but yeah home on my couch obviously can't film outside obviously because I'm too people shy I'm too shy to film so we just get a view of my very safe space Anyways, I heard a little birdie told me that someone was talking about me during their interviews and if it's you, hi, hello, if you made it to UM, please come and say hi, let me know that it was you and I can't believe that it actually influenced people to come to UM, I think that's crazy uh, Thank you guys so much for supporting and watching and I'm glad I am showing off I don't know, I'm glad I am helping you guys in some way. Um, but anyways, it was just like, so we did intubation, what we went over what pre-rounding is, how to put in catheters, can't say that word right. Um, he also went over um, infectious disease, and then there was one on soap notes, and I think there was one more presentation, but I forgot what it is right now. So that's what we went over in our mini boot camp. We picked up some PPE for the hospital, and I'm just home, um, I'm waiting to go to dinner with a friend, and I'm just doing some work because I'm behind on work. And when I mean work, I mean like Fiverr and also some research. I have one last Fiverr before I quit Fiverr for it indefinitely. And then I have some research work that I need to do that I was supposed to do this week, but I think I overburdened myself, so I have not done it.